I'm Mary Ellen Geist with Detroit Public Television's Great Lakes PO, greatlakesnow.org. We're at Boyne Highlands. At the end of a very long road, six months of really hard work. First of all, Dr. Guy Meadows, just state your name and title. Guy Meadows, Director of the Great Lakes Research Center at Michigan Technological University. When I talked to you last time, you've just been given a grave and serious assignment that I know you're glad you're at the end of. You've been working very hard. Tell us why we're here. This is the culmination of? We delivered our risk analysis report to the state, um, and part of that is to have a 30-day public comment period, and we're about three-quarters of the way through that. So today is when we actually hear in person from the public and give them an opportunity to point out things that we could improve in the final draft as, as well as things that, that they are in agreement with. We concentrated very hard to make this a fact-based report. There are no opinions in the report. Uh, the goal is to provide our decision makers with a fact-based report that they can move forward with. You are probably sick of talking about it at this point, and I know you've talked about it to many people, but maybe you could just condense what you did find out, what this report is, and what it will be used for. Well, it will be used to, to assess the future of, of Line 5. Um, what things we are particularly proud of is we have advanced the uh, state-of-the-art in numerical modeling with tremendous help from the Ann Arbor Knoll Laboratory, combining with our numerical modelers and running uh, 4,300 some simulations on our supercomputer cluster at Michigan Tech. Uh, we were able to add uh, the effects of ice, the effects of evaporation of oil and weathering of oil, uh, and the windage uh, of oil being pushed by the wind, which uh, increases the, the range that the oil is spread and the speed at which it is spread. We've uh, identified several worst case scenarios uh, and analyzed those fully in terms of their impact on human health, ecological impacts, cost to the government, cost to private citizens, and we believe we put together a very comprehensive report uh, that, that could be used to, to make uh, reasonable decisions going forward. I just saw that very large report on the desk in front of you where you're going to be presenting this tonight. How many pages is it? The bulk of the report is 396 pages. It has a 33-page executive summary and an additional 200 pages of of all the calculations and appendices of, of the report. So probably 600 pages plus. For someone seeing this the first time, you manage a team of how many people from how many universities? Uh, 41 researchers from uh, seven universities plus the NOAA lab in Ann Arbor. And um, we all work together very well for, for some of us not knowing each other before we started. In fact, most of us not knowing each other before we started. You had a tough task ahead of you. What was some of the toughest parts of all this? And were there days that you wanted to just throw your hands up and run away? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I think wrestling and getting our arms around such a comprehensive effort. Um, as I said, the, the scope of work says define the worst case. We, we could not define a single worst case. In fact, we evaluated our opinions of worst cases, and then we went back to those computer simulations and had the computer spit out what was the conditions that produced the oil moving the fastest, what were the conditions that produced oil spreading over the greatest length of shoreline, what were the conditions that caused the largest area of contamination. So I think we've done about as complete a job with as the best science we could possibly put together. So there were there were many times when we struggled with how to, how to actually wade through this multitude of, of multi-dimensional tasks. Many people are coming here to this meeting tonight and you're gonna hear the public air their views. Some people worry that their views don't matter. Can you tell me, as far as I recall, this report has built into it that the public comment has carries weight in the final analysis. Oh, absolutely. And that's why we are here. And We've brought four people to speak, and then we brought another 12 researchers from as far away as North Dakota to be here and to hear the public comments so that we can incorporate those into the final draft. So how does it feel to have it finally be over? You must feel relieved. It's getting close to feeling relief, yes. <laughs> when are you really done? What's the date? We are done do September 15th <laughs> when we owe the final revised report to the state, and the state will be making comments as well. 
I hope to be able to break out the champagne. Thank you so much for the work you did to serve the state of Michigan and to let us know more about Line 5 and what would happen if it was us. Thank, thank you. you so much, Dr. Meadows, and thanks for talking to GreatLakesNow.org. Thank you.